Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have the featured members speed round. Love this video. Um, super, super fun. I am going to move through these super fast. I'm going to show you, I think, 35 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can source low, hopefully, and sell high for big money on eBay. Um, there's also a few Poshmark and a few Mercari sales. So you guys stay tuned. We are going to move through these very quickly. I'm going to shout out the member. Either I'm going to say their eBay store or their YouTube channel. They will all be linked down below. I'm not going to pull up the screenshots of those like I typically do. This is just a bonus video. So be sure to, after the video, check out the links down below. All right, you guys. So I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And some of these, you guys are going to be like, what? Crazy. So let's get started. All right. The first item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. And you guys check this out. It is a Walls Blizzard polar, like insulated hoodie coveralls thing. I'm going to say this is vintage. It does not say vintage, but it sure looks vintage to me. Um, a lot of times, if you guys do the measurements like this, I do this from time to time. I do it more with hard goods, but um, it's also great for uh, clothing. And then there's no like question about what the measurement is. They can't say, oh, well, you measured wrong. You know what I mean? So that's a little reseller tip right there. But this thing is super cool. This came from the Goodwill and she paid. Um, $8 for it and took a best offer of 70 and her eBay store is Mutton Ridge Finds. The next item comes from YouTube channel Jack's Treasures and eBay stores and YouTube channels are linked down below. If they have a YouTube channel, it'll be there. If they do not, it'll just be their eBay store. But again, these are featured members. If you guys want to be in a video like this, you can join memberships at level two. It's $4.99 a month. And there's a join button beside the subscribe. And if you don't see that, sometimes it doesn't show up. I do have it linked down in the description. All right. So this is a plush, you guys. It's from 1986. It is a Budweiser collectible and it talks. So you got to love talking animals, right? And pretty look, it's got a little bit of issues, but overall, I think Spuds McKenzie is pretty collectible. Um, this came from the Goodwill, paid a dollar for it, and it sold for $71.09, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item comes from Anytime Picker YouTube channel, and he got a whole bunch of these beta tapes. They're not VHS, you guys. They're some sort of fancy tape, um, but I believe he did an estate clean out, so he got these basically for the labor, so pretty much free. Um, it does take time, so maybe not free, but you know what I'm saying. And he ended up selling this one for $99. It is called The Last Unicorn. The next item comes from The Rebel Reseller. She is a plush selling machine, and she is a big money bolo finder. So definitely check out her channel. And she sold this guy. He is a sh cheese um, chef, and he's a stuffed animal. And she sold him for $101.66. And she got him on high bid. So if you guys don't know, I think it's like an auction site where you can buy things. And her cost of goods was approximately 50 cents. Anything Chuck E. Cheese I pick up. Sorry, you guys, my phone's ringing. And I don't know how to, I don't know how to turn it off. Anyway, okay, I think I got it. Sorry about that. Um, but check him out. I've never seen him. I would not even have known that he was Chuck E. Cheese. Let's look at this tush tag here. It says Chuck E. Cheese. So there you have it. Anything Chuck E. Cheese, pick it up. I'm guessing he's more of a rare. Um, I have sold like the balls that are kind of like a nylon material before. So um, I do pretty good with those. All right, this came from Money Making Mama. She shops at a place called Dirt Cheap. So I don't know if it's like a bin store or if it's just a discount store, but what she does is she buys these things in bulk and then she sells them in bulk. So this is 10 Neutrogena foaming scrub. Now, what's special about this is that they're discontinued. You can no longer get them and people will source from them for them on eBay. She paid $1.70 each and took a best offer. I'm sorry, sold it for $99.99 .99 with free shipping. 
The next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Her eBay store is am amazing. Check it out. I mean, just unreal the stuff she finds. But this is a Holt Howard. Um, it's a lady head base. So it's collectible for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a lady head base. Number two, it is Holt Howard. And it's vintage. So here is what it looks like on the bottom. It looks like it's dated 1959. She got this at a thrift store for $35.00. And I don't have what she sold it for. She did take a best offer. I'm sorry. I thought I wrote it down. Maybe she didn't give it to me. Um, but she had it for $165 and took a best offer. The next item, I just love this. I totally would have picked it up even though I hate selling clothes now. Um, but this is cool. She, this is a vintage 1950s full circle skirt. Roosters Rockabilly. Again, Be Carried Away is known for her keywords. So definitely check her out. She got this at the Salvation Army for $4.99 and sold it for $150 on Poshmark. And again, check out her descriptions. I mean, everything is just really neat and tidy. So um, again, great keywords. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And I feel like I see these all the time and I walk right past them. So I wanted to share this one with you guys. Um, it's a fiber craft and it's an angel doll with blonde hair. And it's got the sleepy eyes, which means they open and close. And she got this at the Goodwill for 99 cents and she sold it for $21.02. Um, so it's a great bread and butter item. I'm not sure. I remember seeing it in one of her sourcing thrift store videos. So maybe go over and check out some of her haul videos, her thrift with me's. The next item is this vintage 1980 Amtoy Super Pickle Plush. And it is from Franklin Hill Ventures. And this was a consignment deal. And I think he does a 50-50 split, but this ended up selling for $65 with free shipping. But this is what it looks like, you guys. These vintage plush, I'll tell you, I mean, there is definitely a market for plush in general, but vintage plush can do, do pretty well. The next item was sold by Donatella Bottolino. It's a 1993 Hippie Betty Boop Peace Bolo t-shirt. And here it is, super fun little shirt. And she sold this one for $100 and she picked this up in a um, bulk buy. So you can see right here, it's actually dated on the bottom of the shirt. It is, this one is a single stitch. So if you guys have single stitch shirts, you definitely want to put single stitch in the title. The next item comes from Philly Flipper. And the reason I'm laughing is because he won this challenge. I had a, I think it was, was it thrift five and 15 or I think it was thrift five and 15 so, or was it five items in 15 minutes? I think it was, that seems like crazy right now. But what I did is I got a bunch of YouTubers and uh, resellers together and we went into a thrift store. We had 15 minutes to source five items. And then you guys voted on who had the best haul and Philly flipper won this one. And that's Paul. And this was one of his items. This is a rocking horse. He thrifted this for $15 and took a best offer of $140. And it was thrift five and 15. If you put hashtag thrift five and 15 into the search bar, it will pull up all of the videos of everyone that was a part of that challenge. Super sun, super fun collab. Definitely go check it out. The next item sold by a blue. It is this vintage handkerchief vase set. It looks like it's hand blown glass with a white stripe. And what's amazing, I don't see any markings. It is made in Poland here, but really, really pretty. Uh, $2 at a yard sale. Took a best offer of $67 for that. And that is a little bluebird. The next item comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. And look at this, you guys. I would not want to ship this, but this is a life size stand up from Fox Sons, uh, Sons of Anarchy. Um, Charlie Hunam, I think, I don't know, Jax Teller Life Size Standy, 2012. She got this at a garage sale for $25 and sold it for a best offer of $220 in the buyer paid shipping. Again, that's Yard Sales and Dreams. Go check her out. This one came from Butterfly Hustles. You guys, if you do not know, vintage lingerie can be manola. This was actually, um, let's see. Picked this up at the Goodwill for $5.50 and she sold it for $82.50. Again, it's got the tape measure showing the dimensions 
And you can see here is a good picture of the tag. Great um, uh, background with the white background. So really, really nice listing. And definitely a bolo, you guys. These are silk and satin. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle. And you guys, this is some sort of Nintendo piano. Um, she said that she went to the estate sale and she was second in the door and she couldn't like find it right away. And she's like, oh no, but she found it, you guys. She knew it was a bolo. She saw it in the pictures. Again, she's super knowledgeable. And here it is. She sold this for $400 best offer and she got it at an estate sale for $65. So this is definitely a bolo. The next item comes from Auctions for You. Again, I told you guys she bought out those toy that toy store and some storage units full of vintage toys. Um, I've sourced a couple boxes from, I think I'm on my third box just from those. So um, I just recently did a video on that. If you guys want to go check out and see what I got, that is on this channel. This is a Matchbox Convoy Truck Stop playset, and she sold this for $129 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Thrifty Broad. This is a St. John Couture uh, blouse. And she sold this for $75 on eBay. She does a lot of, um, she sells a lot on Poshmark. But this one, she actually sold on eBay. Here's the tag, you guys. And yeah, the buyer paid shipping on that. So, and she got that at a thrift store. Oh, wait, let me go back. I'm sorry. What on earth did I do here? Oh, thrift store for a dollar and uh, took a best offer of $60.99. I had the dollar beside the 60 and I'm like, $160. I'm like, what did I do here? So that's what happened. All right, this one comes from Sister Rescued Treasures and they do not have a YouTube channel, but they do sell on eBay and Mercari. And this is a Disney Kingdom Hearts uh, bifold wallet. And they got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and they sold it for $35 with free shipping. So just a, a Disney wallet, you guys. So a quick flip, uh, bread and butter item. Very, very cool. The next item comes from Toledo Antique. You guys, they are big money bolo finders. They do estate sales and they are super, super knowledgeable. They are not afraid to pay up for something. And they also do some consignment. This one was sold on consignment. I believe they do a 50-50 split. This sold for a best offer of $320. And it is Michael Garman. And I'm going to see if I can find you guys some sort of marking here. Here it is right here on the front um, and on the back. So super cool. That says 1978 and that says 1982. So that's weird. Um, but this sold again for $320. It's the Saturday Night Out Jukebox. This one is the Amazing Amber Glass and Rhinestone Owl Brooch. This was sold by Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who is just super, super knowledgeable. If you guys want to learn about different items and all sorts of categories, check her channel out. Um, here is what it, the little thing says on the back. It's marked. You guys, she got this at an estate sale for $5. $5. And she did take a best offer on it. And I did not write it down. I want to say it was 120, but I could be wrong. Um, if you go over to her Instagram, um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, she does post where she shows um, her solds. And it tells you all the information that I'm basically telling you right now. So if you want to follow her over there, you'll definitely learn. And her YouTube channel, of course. Uh, this is the Sylvania Flicker Flame, three watt Flicker Flame uh, Candelabra, Candelabra, I don't know. They're light bulbs, you guys, new old stock, super cool. I just love this one because it's kind of like something that I wouldn't necessarily think to comp if I was at a sale. So I wanted to share it with you guys. She got these for $3.99 at a thrift store and sold them for $65. Then here from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And she specializes in jewelry, but she is also a bolo finder of other items. Check out this long box CD. He's the DJ, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. It is vintage, new old stock. I think she picked up three of these and they were all bolos. So if you ever see these, these are brand new and sealed, which is just fantastic. She got them at a thrift store for a dollar each. This one sold for $152.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Now, 
I recently did a um, video of a box that I purchased from auctions for you. It's a mystery box. It was a hundred dollar mystery box. I had one of these in my box. And the funny thing is, is when I was searching solds, I probably saw this one. But this is from Gigi's Goldmine eBay store. And they actually bought a mystery box from auctions for you. So this was in their box. So super funny. That's why I picked it. I didn't know they got it from auctions for you, but they did. And they sold this for $79.99. And it came out of a mystery box from auctions for you. Her link is down below. And his cost of goods was around $6 once he divided everything out in the box. The next item is this vintage Cabbage Patch Girl doll. And she said she paid up for this at a thrift store. She paid $10. And the reason she paid up is because she had sold the same one on Mercari before. And if I remember correctly, the one on Mercari sold for $100 and it didn't have any clothes. So, um, yeah, it just depends. Sometimes things go for more. Maybe it was like a different... Um, Maybe a little bit different. I don't know. But for some reason, it went for more on Mercari. The next item is this Gump's Man in the Moon ornament. It is blown glass, and it's got the crystals. Free shipping on this one. This came from Wandering Creeks Antiques. I apologize, you guys. Um, I did not get information back from her on where she got it and what it sold for, but I did want to share it with you. And I don't know if there's any um, markings on it. I don't see anything. But I do love how she displayed it on the little display. So definitely a good idea to um, display your ornaments that way. The next item comes from Electric Garage Sale. And this came from an estate clean out. So cost of goods was just labor. This is a vintage Playthings toy trade magazine from February of 1949. Um, I do not know what the best offer was that was accepted. I do apologize. I do ask for that information. If I don't get it, I assume they got full price, but I can see it's slashed out. So not sure, but the buyer did pay shipping on that and definitely an item to be on the lookout for. What I thought was cool is how he showed some of the pages, um, the articles that were pretty cool, like the the little circle dress on this doll. So I will definitely sell the item. The next item comes from reseller, I'm sorry, reselling with honey. And she said, I did pay up for this because I knew it was a bolo. She got it at the Goodwill and she paid 50 bucks for it, you guys. It sold within two weeks for $159.99 with free shipping. Um, it is an eco washer pro detergent laundry system. So very cool. The next item comes from Flippin' It Good, and he is a retail arbitrage. He sources at Burlington Coat Factory, Ross, places like that. And you guys, this man, I, when I tell you he knows how to source retail arbitrage, he knows how to source. You've got to go check out his channel if you want to get into RA. He does sell other vintage items also. He's a bolo finder in general. But these cleats, he got at Ross for $24.99, and they sold for $150. And a reseller tip he gave me is that ACC means elite, and those typically sell for more. The next item comes from One Stop Shop 59. She got this at a thrift store for $10 and sold it for $148.70 in the Masak Menorah Branches Brass Light Holder. Super, super cool. The next item comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. It is a Jingle Bell Rock Dancing Santa from 1998. You guys, I love selling stuff like this. I pick these up all the time. And she got this at a yard sale for $5 and took a best offer of 48 plus shipping. So head on over to her YouTube channel and check her out. This is a West German marked fat lava, I don't know, some sort of pottery. It's a mid-century modern. Um, another thing you can do is put MCM in the title if you want to shorten it up. This came from Lombardi Limited eBay store. He got this for $6 at a flea market. I don't know what the best offer was. I apologize that information was not included. He did take a best offer, but definitely a very cool piece. The next item is this vintage Mary Mushroom wall clock from Sears Roebuck. This was um, sold by Restored Glory. Um, I think that um, she's actually Duchess0911 on... Um, Mercari and Restored Glory on YouTube. It is a mushroom clock. She got it for $7.99 at a thrift store, and she sold this for $120.
The next item comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. And she was not able to get back the information to me this video and said to skip her. But I wanted to go ahead and share the bolo with you guys because I don't care what she paid for it or what she got from it, but uh, where she got it. It's super cool. It's this vintage vinyl baby doll. And it's foam, um, it says foam posable body. And she sold this for $51.75 plus shipping. Check it out. Literally, it has a foam body, you guys. Look at the little eyes. It's so cute. The next item was sold by the Thrifty Nichols. It is a loom. And she's a newer member, has a YouTube channel that she's trying to get started. So definitely go check her out. And this is called Love and Money Crafts Hexagon Loom. It's weaving by John Allen. You guys, she got this at an estate sale in the attic for $1 and it sold for $125 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King, who is also a new member with an amazing channel. So check him out down below. He got this BMW pillow at an estate sale for $1 and sold it for $118.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Queen of Hearts Charnel, and this is a bunny. Light. Um, it's a blow mold light on a cord. It's tested and working. Super cute. If it's hanging, this is what it looks like. You guys, these typically do pretty well. I've sold these in the past. She got this at the Bend, so her cost of goods was about 60 cents. And that is actually her eBay store name also, Queen of Hearts Charnel. She sold for $39 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was the speed round. Let me know what you think about these bolos. Um, make sure you go and check out part one and part two of Feature Members. Um, it's basically the same thing where I am featuring the members, but I also show you their eBay store and their YouTube channels very quickly before I show the bolo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos. And if you want to join memberships, there is a link down in the description, or you can hit that join button. To be in these videos, you have to be at the $4.99 level. That is level two. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you made it this far, put an emoji of a hat. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.